Welcome back design students. So here we are in Unreal and I've imported my house. I actually created a new scene here or a new level for the house and to do that you just go to file new level and I selected open world this time and that gives me these nice cliffs in the background and everything it looks really good and I've also spent a lot more time texturing a lot of other things uh, in regards to the house. I've textured all these roof timbers and I've textured this entire shed thing and the bench and I went ahead and textured the door and the porch. And um, I want to show you later how to texture these uh, floor joists. And I used the same method when I did the uh, roof timbers as well. Now before you import your house, you should create a folder in your uh, content browser. And you should name it House. You can do that by clicking Add, New Folder. And then when you import your house, it's going to come in as a mesh. It's going to come in as a combined mesh like this. Um, if you don't combine it, it'll come in as a bunch of separate pieces. Here are all the materials that came in with the house. And we'll talk about how to reconstruct those later. So after you import your collision mesh and your house, you're going to have to apply your collision mesh to your house static mesh asset. That's what SM stands for here. So to apply the collision mesh that you created in Maya and imported to the house asset that you have here, which is called a static mesh, you need to double click the static mesh house asset that you imported and that will bring up the asset editor. And it's a separate window here. I can dock this by dragging this tab and up to the top here and it will dock itself right here. Now you don't see anything in this window because I need to zoom out because the house was quite large. So I'm going to go ahead and select it and hit F to focus on it. And I want to show you what the collision looks like when you import it, when you first import it. And what that looks like is, you can see it under Show, Simple Collision. This is what the collision shell looks like. And as you can clearly see, I can't, if I were to wander around this house, I wouldn't be able to uh, interact with it very much. So what we're going to do is replace this simplified collision mesh with our collision mesh. Let me demonstrate to you what that looks like. If we return to the level and click play, you can see here that if I were to try to interact with this mesh, see I can't, I can't get close to it. That's because I'm colliding with that simplified collision mesh that I showed you, that Unreal applied because it didn't know what else to do. So let's go back to the Asset Editor and replace this mesh with our Collision Mesh. To apply this Collision Mesh that we imported, we need to come over here to the Details and we need to find the Collision Rollout. It's right here. We need to check this Customize Collision Box. And then we need to find the Collision Mesh that we imported. All we need to do is click this little pull down and find it. Here it is. And then finally, before this will work, we need to change the collision complexity, which is right here, to use complex collision as simple. And because we're using the complex collision mesh that is custom here, then that will work. And then when we save it and return to our level, if we play, you can now see that we can walk up to the stairs, we can walk up the stairs and stand on the porch, we can walk through the area here. We can walk into this corner and so forth. Now before I imported my collision mesh, I'm going to double click it so you can see it in the asset editor. I went ahead and added collision to these two other wings here. If you remember correctly back here in my the collision mesh that I showed you earlier did not have these two parts, but I went ahead and added them before I exported my collision mesh. Okay, so in the next video, I'm going to show you how to fix the materials that come in with your house asset that uh, do not have textures applied to them. And we'll talk about that in the next video. And I'll see you then.